Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. What's up, bitches? Today, I'm going to be doing a drag look. Now, yes, I know I be saying that I'm a beauty queen and, like, I'm a bad bitch and all that. But honestly, there's an inner drag queen inside of me and we're gonna unleash the bitch today. Now, most drag queens that actually have a career doing it shave off their motherfucking eyebrows. Now, me... I've been wanting to shave my eyebrows for like at least mm, half a year now and it's like mm, I don't know if I look good and I already got like this big ass forehead so I'm like sis I don't think it's a good idea to get these eyebrows off so that being said I am going to have to glue these holes down that's just how life is sometimes you just have to glue down your flaws <laughs> That being said, I'm going to take an old spurly brush I used to use. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrow hair up. I don't know why I'm using my right hand. I'm left handed sis. We're just gonna brush it up. My side hairs right here, like I've said in past tutorials, they go down very harshly. So I cannot glue them upwards because I'll put a little air bubble and that will show your brows and you want it to look completely gone. So we're going to pull them out this way. Just pull them out towards your hair. And then the top eyebrow, I'm just going to brush up. Same with this brow. And this is when it gets crazy. I asked my sister to get me glue stick and she got me the wrong glue stick. But that's okay, we all make mistakes and I'm going to deal with it. So you're literally just going to put that bitch right on your fucking eyebrows. Like, you're just gonna apply it so your eyebrows are even with the surface of your skin. And then we're gonna to have to do layers of this so we can get a good application and base. And then we're gonna take this brush again and we're just gonna apply it down and we're not gonna lift up at all until you get all the hairs brushed. And, and this is so when you start putting on the setting powder to make it kind of go away so it doesn't have any clumps and look like you're fucking dying or something. Then we're gonna take a wet washcloth. We're just gonna take off the excess where the brows are not glued. So your skin isn't just filled with glue and when you apply your foundation, it doesn't have those like chunk lines. Now we're gonna do that same process on this eyebrow. Now we're gonna repeat this process like probably a thousand times. Okay, while that's drying, we're gonna do the bottom half of our face. So I'm just gonna go in with my Huda Beauty foundation, like always. And we're just going to put that all over our bottom ice. And we're gonna apply it more than we usually do because this is a really full coverage look. Like more full coverage than any fucking look ever, so yes. Of course, we're gonna just get that neck real good too. And since we are doing a really full coverage face look, I'm gonna blend my ears because my ears get really red. So I don't wanna have like red ears and a like good face. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into my highlight. This is literally trash and it's still in my fucking drawer. Get that shit out of here. I'm gonna take the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Porcaline, and then I'm gonna swipe it on. I'm gonna swipe it away from the inner corner of my eye because I'm going to use a different shade for that. We're gonna take our Concealer Beauty Blender and we're gonna just blend that right out. And this is so when I put my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the inner corner, it brightens it up more instead of it just being one continuous color throughout the concealer zone. See how it kind of brightened it up a little bit. We're gonna take our Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral, and we're gonna put that in the inner corners of our eye, where we didn't put the matchstick. And then we're gonna just put it in our natural highlighting area. 
We're just gonna put it right here like I used to do. And we're gonna put it on our nose. And that's it for now, since we're still not doing the forehead yet. Just blend that out with our cow sponge. And I'm just gonna try to take that and like curve out the contour where I usually do my drag contour. So it highlights that area and when I put the and when I put the contour, it looks like it gets real cut right there. So I'm gonna just take the Kat Von D shade and like contour palette. And I'm just gonna go in that middle shade like always. And this time I'm just going to cut it more downwards and then up. Now we're just gonna take that, we're just gonna bring it up here so we can blend it with whatever that's called. I'm just gonna take this beauty blender and we're just gonna kinda make that pocket happen. And you see that? How it look? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know you see it. Mm-hmm. And girl, we're gonna just take this and we're just gonna blend out that bottom line. Kinda give it more of a sensation look. And then boom, bitch. And when the haters ask, you're like, Bitch, I'm stunning. Now this is what I want to say about my drag though, because this look isn't going to be just beauty. It's going to be very extra, and it's not going to be really a woman look, like a woman style look. It's going to be more drag look, but that's just because I really love the idea of drag. And if y'all don't know what drag is, look it up. And we're just going to do the same with this side. I'm gonna go in the Morphe 15D palette and I'm going to take the shade Desert in this corner. And I'm just going to use this to darken up and sharpen up that cut right there. And then there is that fucking cut. You see that? So when these hoes like, girl, I'm a snatch, you'd be like, I'm already snatched. <laughs> just do the same with this side. The bottom half of my face is pretty much complete. All I have to do is just carve out the contour with some concealer, and then we're gonna jump into the eyebrows and eyeshadow. We're just gonna take some setting powder now. We're gonna put it on the brows. Okay, so now we're just going to put some Tarte Shape Tip Concealer over the brows. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's that little line right there. And that's where all of the hair started to lift instead of stay glued down. So I'm a little disappointed in myself, but it's okay, we'll get through. Just take that Beauty Blender and just blend out those brows. And I'm just putting more setting powder on to hold it in place. And I'm gonna just start drawing the brows in. Now the brow is a little higher than I would like, so I'm going to conceal the fuck out of the bitch. That 
that is a barrel all completed. I'm going to do this one off of camera since it's taking me a long time to do this, and I'll be right back. We are back. I started to bake under the eyes already. I'm gonna get into the eyeshadow. It's gonna be glam Ores. It's the most exciting part out of this whole fucking experience. We have to do the eyeshadow. So we're gonna prime the lids with some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. We're gonna put a dot, we're gonna put a little dot over here too, since we're covering a large amount of area. Okay, so now we're gonna use our Flathead Concealer Brush. We're just gonna buff it out onto the whole lid. So I'm gonna start with the Blood Sugar Palette. I'm gonna jump into Cavity, and that's that bright pink right there. We're gonna put that above the crease. We're just gonna tap it lightly as possible. Now we're gonna make little circles. The outer bone towards the eyebrow tail. Now we're gonna do this eye off camera. All right, so that is both sides, both completed. Jump into Prick from the Blood Sugar Palette, and we're gonna just put that right below the pink, and we're gonna put it in very lightly. We're just gonna put it right in the outer bone once again, right below the pink though. We're gonna put it more in this section than right here because we don't want too much action going on, but we are just gonna kind of pull it into that section for a second. All right, so now we're gonna jump into Root Canal from the Blood Sugar Palette. We're just gonna put that right below the red. We're just gonna put it on very lightly. I'm barely even letting it touch my skin. And now we're gonna do it on this eye off of camera. We're gonna take this fluffy brush and go on glucose from the blood sugar palette. We're just gonna put that on top of the lid. We're gonna go in the Morphe 35B palette. We're gonna go into the lightest blue there is in the palette. And then we're just gonna put this right above the white and just tap as lightly as possible. You're gonna see how it's trying to blend together. We're not gonna blend it out yet because we don't want the pigment on this brush. So we're gonna do this eye. We do it off of camera so we can have time going faster. So now we're just gonna take the same brush and just in a circular motion, start blending the blue and that purple and whatever the fucking colors are there. We're just gonna go into that darker blue in the Morphe palette. We're just gonna put that in the inner crease. And I like to connect it to my nose contour so it has some type of weird blending going on. We're gonna do that same thing on this side off a of camera. Now we're gonna just use this little puffy brush, get into glucose once again and put this right under our brow so we can enlighten that bitch. Thank you guys for waiting, being patient. This shit is stressful, like, oh, but look, I'm being gorgeous. Okay guys, we all know it takes me a good second to pop on some lashes, so I'm gonna do that off of camera, and I'll be right back. I just went ahead and brushed off the rest of the excess powder that was on my face, and then I went ahead and just put on some highlight, so you can probably see the glow a little bit. I put it on my forehead too, because that's what drag queens do, bitch. And then I put some on my chin, because that's what this drag queen does, bitch. And then we're going to get into some lipstick. I'm just going to use Pulse Spice from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And then I'm going to use this to outline my big lips. So I'm going to overline. <laughs> take a little bit of this purple and we're just gonna toss it on the outer edges of the other brown all 
All right, guys, this is the drag look all completed. Like, holy shit, this is cute as fuck. Like, I know you're probably like, why did he overdraw the lips so much? Because, bitch, this is what you do. Like, this is what you gotta do to be in this career. Like, you gotta be extra, extra, extra. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It took me a lot of hours. And also, like, I really hope you enjoyed it because this is gorgeous. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And just comment down below. Like, tell me what you think. I hope you have a wonderful day. Try this look. And if you don't, it's okay. I'm not going to kill you. So, I love you guys. And thank you very much. Bye. Ah.